goat whore was in its formations while Acid Bath was still in existence. It was kind of like a side project that I had with a friend of mine, which was the drummer, Zach Nolan, who played on the first couple of goat whore records. Okay. So me and him would just jam and write all this crazy shit. And we would just put out small demos while Acid Bath was still an active band, you know? Mm-hmm. So we were we were doing stuff, you know, and uh, when Acid Bath broke up, you know, me and him, I was just like, hey, do you want to kind of take this a little bit more seriously? Now, we already kind of have an established thing going on. We know that we write really good together. So why don't we just kind of refine what we've started and kind of just work that in and start goat whore. So that's essentially what happened with that is that we just started working on the goat whore and uh, figuring out where we wanted to go with it. You know, because when we first started, me and him were jamming, it was more, it was, it was way more primitive than what it is now. Let's just put it that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. and uh, then, you know, something happened. I had a talk with Kirk, and I don't exactly, it was at a Pantera concert. We were drinking, and then I ended up in Crowbar. <laughs> basically, that's how, that's basically how that happened.